Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be part two of my candle day haul. This is from Saturday, so I did already post a vlog and a haul from day one of candle day on Friday morning. So I actually went before work on Friday morning. Um, and then on Saturday, I was out of town. So I did go to the mall that was in the city that I was in and they had some really good finds. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up. I didn't pick up too much because I already bought 13 candles on Friday, but I'm gonna show you part two because I feel like these candles are really fun and I just wanna share them with you guys. So if you are interested in seeing what I got, then just keep watching. So I'm gonna get the kind of staple candles out of the way first. So the first one I picked up is Mahogany Teakwood. You guys know this is a staple scent um, for every man or masculine scent loving person in your life. This one is amazing. And I did have my boyfriend shopping with me, so I was a little partial. I wanted to make him happy, so I picked one up for him. Um, the notes are rich mahogany dark oud, or dark oak, sorry, and frosted lavender. Just an amazing solid staple scent, it's so good. I might even put this one in the bedroom instead of in his man cave, because he's got quite a candle stash going. I think he has two full size and two single wicks down there. So I might even do this one in the bedroom. I don't know, but yeah, that's the first one I got. And then I did pick up a Candle Day Collection Banana Bunt Cake. Um, this one I had sniffed and I thought about getting it on Friday, but I just didn't get it. So when he was with me, I made him sniff it and he was like, this is kind of fun, we should try it. So here we are trying it. And the notes are sweet banana, toasted walnut and fresh cinnamon. To me, it smells like a mix of juicy fruit gum and banana runts, but honestly, I'm excited to have it. I think this one will be fun to burn in like spring and summer when I'm really trying not to buy candles because I'm already prepping my stash for next fall. Yeah, so I don't know. I think this one will be really fun at that time. Also when I'm staying in the house because it's way too hot outside here in Texas. So yeah, that has been in a butt cake. And then I did pick up one from Summer SAS. They had a lot of summer candles out at this store. So I was really excited that I went because I could tell they were running out of some of the Christmas scents. So they started to put out their back stock. So I got pretty lucky and I did find a pink petal tea cake. I'm so happy to pick up another one of these. I really did enjoy this during the summer. Um, I know in my review of this, I said I probably wouldn't get another one, but honestly, I did enjoy it enough to get another one at a good price. The notes on this are pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. And even Ryan, my boyfriend, said that he enjoyed it whenever I burned it during the summer. So yeah, I'm gonna pull this one back out when it is that time. I think also this would be a great candle for February for right around Valentine's Day. So that is pink petal tea cake. And with that, I will show you guys the new candles that I got. So the first one that I got is pistachio and toasted vanilla. This is probably the one I was most excited for in this beautiful like sweater, cozy blanket collection. So the notes on this are salted pistachios, toasted vanilla almonds, and that's it. It's very simple, but I think very yummy. I don't know. I think it's a very nice general scent too. Like a lot of people would love this if they like simple scents, like somebody like my mother, my mom does not like super harsh, super fragrant scents. She does not like fresh balsam. She does not like anything floral. She doesn't really care for anything fruity. She likes just like basic vanilla cookie scents. So this is a really great scent for those type of people in your life. But also I just, I think it's really nice. I did have pistachio ice cream when it came out in like 2018, I wanna say. Um, and I don't think this is that because that one had like a cloying sweetness to it, almost the same kind of cloying sweetness that's in butter rum eggnog, if you know what I'm talking about on that. Um, it's like a milky sweetness that's just like nauseating to me. <clears throat> and this one for sure does not have any of that. So yeah, I think it's just a nice vanilla nut scent. I think it's really great and I'm so excited to burn it. The next one that I was also pretty excited for is Fresh Coconut and Cotton. Now when I smelled this one I was not expecting to love it as much as I did and then when I made Ryan smell it he died. He really loved it. I honestly should have bought like two or three of these but 
I was being wary because I had already bought so many candles, so I'll buy another one if I think I need to, but I think for now I'm good. So the notes on this are Coconut, Coastal Breeze, and Beachside Cotton. This one is so nice and simple and beachy, but like a perfect scent to, to burn in your house to make it smell really like upscale. Like if you're gonna have guests over and you're gonna have like a nice dinner party or, you know, wine and cheese or even just coming over to, I don't know, watch a game or something, something like, no, something sophisticated. If they're gonna come over for something sophisticated, this is the candle to burn. I think it smells absolutely amazing and it smells very upscale and like I would find this in like Nordstrom or something so and you guys will have to let me know if this is like a dupe of some fancy candle from like Capri or something because that's what I feel like this smells like to me it smells like a Capri candle like that's the level of sophisticatedness that I get from it okay and this is the last candle so I got one crate full of candles and that's it this is ginger lime twist now, if Ryan was not with me, I probably would not have gotten this one, but it it was pretty cool. So the notes are fresh lime zest, fizzy ginger beer, and crushed mint leaves. So this one is basically a mule. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells like a mule. It smells like fresh, muddled mint leaves, that ginger beer on top, and um, what's the alcohol on a mule? I, <laughs> I don't know. I am not a bartender, you guys. I have no clue. But that's what it smells like. It smells really good, really refreshing. This is gonna be a great scent for those 100 degree summer days. I think this is gonna be perfect. Also, I feel like this would be a really nice scent to get rid of any kind of cooking odor. I'm always looking for scents like that to put in my kitchen. Um, you know, if we're cooking like fish or chicken or whatever it is, and it stinks up the house, I don't wanna smell that when I go to bed. So this is a really great scent to get rid of odor. Yeah, and it's like nice and fresh. It also reminds me of some, um, there was this like eucalyptus scent last summer that came out right before fall. And you guys will have to remind me what it is. It's like eucalyptus, not eucalyptus rain. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what it was. It was in the same kind of like floral packaging. Oh my God, I can't remember it. But it, this reminds me of it. It's like an aromatic earthy scent. So that is Ginger Lime Twist. And with that, that's everything that I got for the day two of candle day. I got 13 candles the first day, six candles the next day, so I got 19 total. That's a lot, um, <laughs> that is a lot of candles, but I did get mostly spring and summer candles, so I'm happy about that because usually what I do, personally, my shopping habits is I love to buy fall and winter scents. I am a fall girl at heart. I will burn those all year round, but I usually want to like prep for fall. Um, so I usually don't buy during spring and summer. I don't buy body care. I don't buy, um, candles, home fragrance. I try not to buy as much as I can, um, during those months to prepare myself to buy as much as I want in fall and winter, because I do not hold back in fall and winter. I buy whatever I want. Um, so yeah, I really did prep my stash to be ready for spring and summer so that I don't have to buy during those times. Um, but yeah, that's everything for this video. Let me know down below what you thought of Candle Day overall. Honestly, for me, I think it was kind of meh. I'm glad I found those candles that I found on day two or else it would be a little bit less awesome. Uh, I think the blends collection is fun and I like the idea of the vault collection, but I think they should have reached a little further back into the vault. I think Banana Bunt Cake is probably the furthest back that they went. Um, I would have loved some other candles um i don't know bacon cupcake or some slatkin candles would have been fun even like some old candle day candles like mint chocolate um i don't know so that would have been nice um but yeah for me it was good i still got what i wanted but it could have been better if they went with some different new scents or some really old vintage scents like 2015 and less that would have been cool but anyways that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.